and welcome to Hey Team TV. As you can see, we have got the 8000 series here. Yes, this is the walk around, which we have done last, rather than first, for, well, basically, we can talk about it a lot better because we've already driven it. Yes, we have. So, you know, we can discuss a lot more points of what we've experienced whilst we're walking around this awesome. We got to say, I've got to say, awesome. What do you think? It's a beast. <laughs> it's a beast. absolute beast of a tractor. What a beautiful thing of British engineering. Oh, there ain't much better than this, is there? Really, to be honest. Oh, just oh, it melts my heart, Justin. It does. It does melt, melt my heart. Proud to be British. Uh, proud to be. It is. It's just way too big for round here, though. Yeah, it's way too big. <laughs> it's way too big, bro. But we'll go through this now. So, where should we start? Hmm. Where should we start? We don't know where to start. No, there's so much of it. First, we'll start with the engine. This 8000 series is rated to 348 horsepower. Coming out of an 8.4 Sisu engine. Now, that, to be honest, is quite incredible, really, isn't it? It, that, it, is, it is massive. Massive for us. I know there's loads of you out there probably got bigger tractors. Like, just, but, yeah. This is a big tractor for us. Massive. If you saw <laughs> a road jump down, down here, here, this is huge. Just trying to like drive a double decker bus around most places where we've had to go. <laughs> but power unit in there, huge. Everything's big. Here, they've they've made it so clean out the radiators and stuff is so easy. Like, get your hand in there, easy. Like, if we unclip here, I have to go around the other side. It's just so user friendly. This is all on gas straps like, like that. Look at that. Everything comes out so you can get all and behind everything. Which I think is brilliant. Brilliant. Get arms in easy, rub away stuff, get a air, you know, leaf blower in there, airline. That is simple, isn't it? But so effective. It just makes it so much easier for maintenance, you know, and keeping it all nice and clean, like as it should be. So, that is one massive find that we're both really chuffed with, find on it. So, on the 8000 series, now, before they did the stage 5, the uprated version, I'm sure the, la the last um, model backwards, they never actually had the hydro pneumatic suspension. This is obviously what the um, 4220s have got, like obviously on ours, have got, and they've uprated the axles to more heavy duty axles, and basically the hydro pneumatic suspension is for better comfort. So this 8000 series is currently running 600 stilettos on the front and she's wearing a pair of 710 platforms at the back and it makes her look fairly fairly beefy now if you go bigger than that on the front you will lose a certain amount of lock because god you got it right in the way you should look where you're going if you go any wider on the front you're going to get too tight in here now in the field work maneuverability really wasn't that bad on the road maneuverability really wasn't that bad but if you go any bigger wheel on this maneuverability may become a bit of a problem so if you're going to go for an 8000 series even though you can get around so much quicker than any other tractor which you know reducing travel time is a you know a huge thing you will lose lock so but you could put duels on it which, let's face it, that would look sick. Oh, I think it would look sick. Do you think it looks sick? I do. It looks a beast, doesn't it? Yeah. You put jewels on that, <whistles> you will be looking like an absolute beast anywhere. Might need um, someone to help you get around, though, because, you know, you'd be too wide for general roads. Someone with a sign on them saying, wide vehicle coming through, get out of the way. So the 8000 series also comes with... It's part caravan. If you're the same size as raw shortness, this is like a, like a house you for you. You can stay out in the field all night. But anyway, what I do love about this, which JCP, I've got to say, do pride themselves on hiding everything, which I love, which you can't see, like the DPF. You know, the exhaust is all covered. Obviously, from the, two, the 4220, everything is in here now and not externally. This is all internally. Everything is here. Washer bottle is up here out the way, which is again great idea. So none of the crap comes into your motors. Battery is down there as always. 
and your isolation switch, obviously your toolbox, and you've got all your brake fluid and servos there. So everything is get out of all, and when this is shut, you wouldn't realize it's even there. And also, the hitch is also in here, out the way. Another change from the 4000 series is this thing's got a piece of stack which is positioned at the back corner of the cab rather than the 4000 series which is at the front corner of the cab. But if 4000 series is like start putting stacks like that on the back, I would like that very much. So coming around to the back end of her, now as you can see she's got a bloody big back end. This back end I would say is how I like my women, big. Oh here we go again. <laughs> anyway, so the lift capacity on her is 10,000 kilos, so in metric terms it is 10 tonne. Now that, well, can lift a bloody big plow really, and you wouldn't even know it was on the back. Uh, also, I'm just going to go through things that are slightly different to the 4000 series. So the 4000 series brakes, indicators, ABS, uh, is all, well, air brakes are in the same place. These two would usually be here. Hydraulics are the same. Big difference between us or our 4000 series and this one is we don't have a hydraulic top link. That is optional. You can go, go, go for that. Um, discs on the brakes are absolutely if you guys can see through there is absolutely enormous and everything is a lot bigger also another huge change they've done on this the rams have been changed compared to the 4000 series that ads and i have our rams especially on the lift up are very slow, they are slow. and they're very slow on the down and i would say yes they are massive rams not a problem it honestly it's not a problem i'm not going to criticize it whatsoever but they are slower for some reason the rat they've done something to the back of the rams and so the lifting of the links going down you know lifting of the links going up and down is so much quicker on this one than it is on our four two five you know or our four thousand series so that is a huge improvement yeah. on this thing uh general pickup hitch is in its normal place but See, now on the 4000 series, you've got the option of having a mirror that comes out here to see your hitch. We have had that change to cameras, so we can see our hitch, and we've got a screen on the inside. JCB have put their own camera here for this one, looking down the hitch, but this is a fundamental problem. When hitching up gear, or when I was hitching up a trailer and the roller, the camera only sees the hitch at this top point, or when you're about two inches down, once you go past that point, it literally vanishes off camera. You're on your own there. Yeah, so you're on your own. So you've literally got to get back to your uh, pickup eye, and then at the very last second, drop it, roughly run an inch, inch and a half, and then pick up and hope and pray. So, little thing there. Personally, I think that camera needs to sort of come out here more somehow in order to see down. So, it's not totally perfect, but still bloody big trailer and another incredible feature of this fast track compared to our fast track is ads she's faster than the 4220 she's actually a 70k tractor so 47 miles an hour now something on that <laughs> uh not that i should have sorry jcb sorry rs and biz but going down holden hill which is a big hill down here in devon i got this thing up to 86 miles or 86 kilometers an hour which is 54 miles an hour so it absolutely flies. Yes, as you can all see, Brothers of Destruction in here enjoying it too. Reginald, don't jump. Don't jump, mate. Don't do it. It's, it's, do a, lot, it's a long way down from up here. Uh, Rhino sat over the corner. Happy at Larry. Now, different things in here. Again, comparison to ours. Extra option sunroof, which Adam and I both love. Yeah. Uh, we're used to having sunroofs in all the New Orleans and it's you know quite a nice feature having a bit of daylight coming in the cab I don't know what else thinks I'll uh, definitely have a sunroof yeah I'd have a sunroof uh, looking around the rest of the cab a lot of things are the same uh, we'll get to the trim ball in a minute yeah just as we're in the cab just saying about the cab there is no different 
in size, shape, or whatever. This is exactly the same cab as what they put on the 4 to 20. But obviously, it has got a few optional extras like your back, your back windscreen's heated. Um, you have, so you can have your hill start. Um, so basically, stop on a hill, and she will just stay there. So stuff like that. But again, you can have all that on the 4 to 20. It's yeah. just. Just this is all extras this are on. Is basically, this is the top spec model. They they put everything on this tractor. Also, this heated front rear screen. Yeah. Which we don't have either. No. Which is which is a simple light. You see this little line going across the bottom here, and you won't see it on the camera, but all the little heat lines go up through the windscreen. Back one's a bit more obvious. You can see pretty much in the camera the heating lines, which you know. It's a great op optional extra, especially if you're in a cold area. Yeah. Uh, the difference to ours, they've put the cab cam back by Adam's hand which back I, there. Which I've got to say, I like, it. I like it there. I do like it there. It means less on the pillar. Yeah. So that can come down there, and then you're free, and that gives you that free angle there anyway. Yeah. I've got to say, I do like it in that position. So I kind of had a similar thing, is because you've got to have it when you're looking back, Ours, our screens are here. Yeah, they're up here, aren't they? So we, we're having to move around quite a yeah. bit. It's not, you know, you sat in a cab. It's not the end of the world having to move a little bit further. But uh, if in the future we do end up getting GPS, you end up needing the room on that pillar over there for the GPS, yeah. just like they've put on the Trimble. The Trimble they put in this is the absolutely top, most brand spanking new Trimble there is. Um, but we're not up to date on no. GPS yet to really go through that. We will be. We will be. Yeah, there's no but point there's no point us even talking about that because I'll be totally honest now, I wouldn't have a Scooby Doo. No. We need to sort of really go through yeah. it, read up on it and Yeah. But in that department there might be something happening very soon. Watch this space. Seats are all pleather. Pleather. Leather, pleather. Leather, leather, leather. It's, it's pretend leather, but you know, still nice. It's still nice. It's still soft. It's and lovely to sit on. And it's a heated seat as well. You heated switch, seat. Switch is behind you here, and then that goes down to here, underneath me, which is the fridge. So yeah, in the fridge, keep food, drinks, anything else you can think of. Nice, stays nice and cool, nice yeah, and fresh. And, it, and to be fair, you know, we've done a good full season in our fast tracks now, haven't we? You know, two seasons. And the fridge is amazing in the summer because it does literally keep everything nice and cool. Yep. So last but not least, we didn't actually talk about the front linkage a minute ago. So front linkage, pretty much the same as the 4000 series. A little bit different. A not, little bit different. Not too much. Lifts three and a half ton, so 3.5 well 3,500 kilograms. Everything's been slightly spaced out a little bit. You get the grease nipples at the hydraulic rams a lot easier. Um, everything's just become that little bit more accessible. So well, I don't know whether because that it is a, a lot bigger tractor and obviously it's wider anyway, but whether in general on the new Ford 220s that you have this uh, front leakage anyway, I don't know. So that's one thing to bear in mind, isn't it, for the Ford 220s? Yep. If it is the same, I don't know if it is or not. So. But we both hope you've enjoyed this walk around on the 8330 JCB Fast Track. Um, we've got to say, it's been an absolute pleasure to drive. Yeah, massive, massive thanks to RSM Beers for sorting this out. And JCB. And JCB as well. The, it has been absolute, it's a bit been, of a dream come true. It's been a pleasure, hasn't it? We never thought we'd drive one of these, did we? Never. So, to be honest with you, there's no reason for us to drive one of these, because no. let's be honest, we wouldn't have one. It is just too big. Well, don't never say never. We need we need another thousand acres, and we need bigger uh, roads. Bigger roads, and we need bigger equipment. <laughs> bigger equipment, and then we can have one. Yeah, but you just spent a lot of money there. <laughs> Gonna have dreams, haven't you? Yes, we have. Gonna have dreams. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, if you haven't yet done so, please could you subscribe, ring the bell, give us a thumbs up. That would be absolutely amazing. Also. Share it with your friends. You know, it's not every day you see a walk around or a couple episodes on an 8000 series JTB Fast Track. You can also get merch on eBay. So type in, go on eBay, type in 18TV or 
it'd be in the description box below. And if you'd like to see more of us, you can find us on Snapchat, twin, Twitter, <laughs> Snapchat, <laughs> Twitter, lying. Instagram, and Facebook. And also, if you're Tick. TikTok, or Top Tick, TikTok, whatever it's bloody called, Top Tick. He's on it, not me. I just put up little vids. Yeah. Anything just for a little bit of entertainment for people and a little bit of a laugh. Um, so, thank you guys again for watching. Uh, hope you have a great week. And we'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Oh, <laughs>